historic. That was the reaction to tonight's Washington Post story from former special counsel at the Department of Defense, co-editor-in-chief co of Just Security, and NYU law professor Ryan Goodman. Also this, quote, Mark Meadows has a ton of criminal exposure. DOJ could flip him. Ryan Goodman joins me now. Ryan, thanks so much for coming on the show. Let me start with a very important question for our viewers. You are a lawyer. You're a law professor. Explain the difference between investigating Donald Trump's actions as part of a probe into January 6th in the election and criminally investigating Donald Trump himself. It's a great question. Um, my best sense is that it's very difficult for them to be investigating Donald Trump's actions without him either being a subject or target of the investigation, but it might just be that the reporters are unable to, you know, nail that one down, especially if they're talking to folks who are witnesses or lawyers for witnesses coming out of the grand jury. All they'll be able to say is they asked us a lot of questions about Donald Trump's actions, but they won't be able to say specifically what was the purpose behind that. Did the prosecutors think that Donald Trump is just suspicious in his activity and is therefore like a subject of the investigation? Or have they moved all the way over to saying he is a target, we think he committed crimes, and now we're kind of mounting the case against him? So you call this development historic. You also singled out Mark Meadows' role in this. The Washington Post is reporting that his is one of the phones, uh, phone records uh, taken for review. You say that the DOJ could flip Meadows in order to get him to turn on Donald Trump. It's the kind of language we heard during the Mueller investigation in relation to Paul Manafort, Michael Flynn. What crime would Mark Meadows uh, be charged with or not charged with as part of any kind of deal to get him to flip? So I think one of the ways in which he's uh, very criminally exposed are the very crimes that Carol Lennig just outlined herself. And it's the same crimes that, that he worked basically hand in hand with uh, President Trump. He ran point on some of these issues for the fake electors. He ran point on trying to uh, influence Pence as well. And so the issue is that he has even greater exposure in some senses than Trump, because there's also evidence in the record from the January 6th committee that Meadows knew Trump had lost. Uh, he says that to Bill Barr. Bill Barr says he told me. He said, you know, Trump will come around because he understands that he lost. Uh, Meadows knew uh, that Pence didn't have the authority to do anything but count the votes. That's from yes. Mark Short's testimony before the January 6th committee. So Meadows has a lot of criminal exposure for these very core crimes. The Justice Department could say to him, we'll strike a deal with you. You flip and cooperate with us, or we could even provide you immunity and you cooperate and with us and uh, give us everything you know about uh, President Trump, the principal in all of these schemes. And how significant is it, in your view, that two Pence aides, Mark Short and Greg Jacob, have recently testified to a grand jury, the two highest known White House officials to do so? I think it's incredibly significant. It means the uh, investigators are going straight into the White House. According to the Wall Street Journal's reporting and corroborated now with The Washington Post, the questions the prosecutors are asking and asked specifically of Jacob and Short is about, for example, this January 4th meeting with President Trump. That's the meeting where Trump's only lawyer to tell him that the plan was legal in the meeting concedes that it is illegal uh, for uh, Pence to carry out the scheme. And that's what the prosecutors are asking these two very senior White House officials about. That's really means that this uh, the prosecution and the investigation is very far along and has pierced all the way through into the White House in some of the most important meetings. Quick last question, 30 seconds left. Merrick Garland spoke to Lester Holt earlier today, said we're going to prosecute whoever's responsible. Do you have confidence that he is going to he will go all the way if the evidence leads him all the way to Trump, which it seems to? Um, I guess, frankly, I don't. Um, I'm just not sure. I think we have to see what happens, especially because this investigation seemed to have been so slow rolled at the beginning. And it might well be that the reason that the Justice Department is moving now is because of the January 6th committee. You know, the Washington yes. Post report says that these questions were asked only in the last few days. You know, ask ourselves, why is that? <laughs> it's just, hey, we're 18 months after the, invest, after the incidents yes. of January 6th. Why point. is it now, in the last few days? It's a very good point. Ryan Goodman is a former special counsel at the Department of Defense, current co-editor-in-chief of Just Security. Ryan, thank you for your time tonight. We appreciate it.